We are told in Scripture that faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Yet, somewhat paradoxically, for many, faith has become an intellectual pursuit. To grow in faith, we have Bible studies, we attend weekly lectures or sermons, we read commentaries on the variations of translations. That's all well and good, but our faith is also experiential because it's grounded in real events, real people experiencing real life. I'm Michael Quinn Sullivan with the Reflection on Life and Liberty. St. Paul explained in his first letter to the Corinthians that our faith is meaningless if the events of the Bible didn't actually happen in real life. Quote, if Christ has not been raised, then our preaching is in vain and your faith is in vain. As Easter approaches, I frankly grow weary of the obligatory dialogues and the medical realities of the horror of crucifixion. There will be podcasts galore marking the events of the Holy Week, putting them in the cultural, religious, political, and economic context of the first century. Our intellectual faith can get a little tiring. I find this yearning in myself to simply experience the events leading up to and following Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection. This is why I like taking groups to Israel, and you can check out our 2025 trip by visiting texasscorecard.com. You see, I like seeing the Judean hill country teeming with wildflowers the way Jesus would have seen it back in those days. I like walking with people through the ancient cities and along the banks of the Sea of Galilee. Not everyone can visit Israel or even wants to, but that doesn't mean the stories can't be brought to life. That's why I so dearly appreciate that for nearly four decades, the promise in Glenrose has faithfully tried to bring the stories to life. While most known for their annual fall performances, spring brings the promise of Passover to the purpose-built outdoor amphitheater. Frankly, I'm inclined not to like such things. For a long time, the thought of a religious-based musical would send me scrambling for a commentary written by a long-dead theologian. Yet, their faithful effort to joyfully tell the stories we usually read and boldly proclaim that these things really happened, I find it immensely rewarding. The musical moves through the gospel's best-known stories, bringing into focus the uncomfortable necessity of Jesus' crucifixion and the joy of his resurrection. The promise of the promise is not that you'll be transported to Broadway, but rather that your joy at Easter will be renewed. Now, in the show notes, you can find their website for tickets and you can get a special discount code, and I hope you'll consider checking it out. In that letter to the Corinthians that I noted above, Paul encourages his readers in their faith by stringing together the promises of Isaiah and Hosea. Quote, death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is your victory? O oh, death, where is your sting? If we believe that promise, we should each do more to proclaim Jesus' story everywhere we go. So, hey, if you want to visit The Promise at Passover this spring, visit thepromiseglenrose.com and use the discount code SCOREcard50 for 50% off the ticket price. You can also find that URL and discount code in the show notes. The Reflections podcast is one of many presented by Texas Scorecard. You can find a complete listing of those shows and podcasts at texasscorecard.com. I'm Michael Quinn Sullivan. Thanks for listening.